Hello Taurus, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your spirit message reading or message from a spirit for December 2020 for the sign of Taurus. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching spirit message card. Remember the message can be something big or small, can just be advice as well Taurus. So let's see what we get with you. What do we have, Angel Spirits Guides? What is the message from Spirit for Taurus? Okay, so this is beautiful. We have Hello from Heaven. So we have your loved ones in the spirit world want to connect with you as much as you want to connect with them. They know you've been thinking of them and they're sending you signs and symbols to show you how much they love you, to prove they're with you at this time. I love that energy. You're being watched over. See all the hands around this person. It's beautiful energy. So let's pull three cards, Taurus. The first card is you. The issue or challenge that you need help from spirit on. Second card is the advice from spirit. And the third card is the outcome should you take the advice. And then we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, Taurus, so just take what resonates with you. So what do we have for Taurus, please? Angels, spirits, guides. Okay, so Venus and Taurus, the Empress. Isn't that beautiful? It's your energy. Knight of Wands is the advice from spirit. And your outcome, we have the Four of Pentacles. Okay, let's clarify the cards and go deeper into the message for Taurus, please. For December 2020, thank you. What is the message from Spirit, please, for Taurus? Okay, starting with the Empress, let's clarify these cards. So we have... Ten of Wands. Knight of Wands is clarified with the Two of Wands. And the Four of Pentacles, Taurus, we have clarified with the Three of Cups. Bottom of the deck. I love the Death card here. Um, card of Scorpio, Knight of Wands is card of Sagittarius as well. So Taurus, Ten of Wands is burden. It can also be about extremely hard work, pressure, um, responsibility, effort um, to bring growth, you know, that kind of energy into your life. You know, even though you might feel a burden or you might have been working towards something extremely hardly, the Ten of, of Wands is a testing energy where you've been tested. Something has tested you, weighed you down. Let's see what this Ten of Wands is. What is this Ten of Wands for Taurus, please? Angels, Spirits, Guides. What is this Ten of Wands for Taurus? Okay, so... We have a card of, of loss, the Five of Cups, the difficulty in moving on, in manifesting something new. There are three, you can see three cups are spilt, you know, that's what this person is looking at here. Um, and there's no putting the liquid back in those cups, it's gone. You can't change the past and that's what this card is all about. But there are reasons to be hopeful now because we have two cups full of uplifting opportunity. So it feels for some of you it's time to make the, or maybe you've been putting effort to move on from whatever this challenge has been, uh, to move on from whatever this, I mean, this can be loss, failure, something getting you down. Um, it can be a low mood energy, pessimism. can be about loss, so lost jobs, lost relationships, but it feels for some of you that you're being told that there is something better ahead 
and it's time to take action towards that. You know, I do feel that that's what you're thinking. I mean, the Ten of Wands is a card of carrying burdens, and yet it's a ten, it's a completion energy. So either you've been putting effort to move on from this and it feels like you've just been feeling the challenge of a difficult journey, a difficulty in moving on from the past. Um, but it could be difficulty in moving on from the past because the new hasn't presented itself yet. Either way, it feels like you've been through some kind of testing time and there will soon be an opportunity to put the wands of burden down and allow yourself to move forward. You know, the Empress is you, it's your energy, it's Libra or Taurus. Um, she is all about, you have everything that you need to create your own reality. She is a great card of abundance, um, growth, uh, manifestation beginning to happen, the beginnings of uh, things beginning to take form. She's the birth of something new, so the birth of a new job. It can be to do with money, career, finances. can also be to do with love, romance, relationships. So it feels for some of you, Taurus, that there is the possibility. I mean, she's also a nurturing, healing energy as well. It feels you reconnecting to who you are to manifest something new and that's what you've been trying to do but it feels it's been a challenging journey you know it's been a challenging journey and that's what the challenge is and yet spirit is saying there is progress coming your way because we have the knight of wands which is an exciting opportunity that brings change and it allows you to move on. You know, sometimes with the Knight of Wands, you think, oh, thank goodness I am putting that situation behind me. I am done with it. I am getting on the horse. I'm taking the reins of my life and I'm charging ahead. And it definitely feels that that's what this opportunity is bringing into you. Something exciting that promises growth. It's a card of inspired action as well. So it definitely feels for some of you, opportunity, feels like some opportunity that's bringing changes coming your way and the two you know the two of wands it can be about life choices it could be a choice to put down the burdens of the past as well if you feel that you're carrying baggage of the past as well to disassociate yourself from it now maybe an opportunity is coming in that will allow you to put down those burdens as well and make some key life choices Again, this two of wands, somebody who's choosing, actively choosing an opportunity, what they want and what they don't want. I always find it really interesting, but also future planning. This again is, is making key decisions at a crossroads on how you want to move forward towards a new vision, a new path, how you want to move forward in your future. So it feels a really powerful energy, can be to do with decisions, but can be about progress. You know, this can be, there's progress, all of a sudden there's a shift, all of a sudden there's an opportunity coming to you that's allowing you to make progress in a situation. And again, there's a feeling with this opportunity as this person grabs the wand that it definitely feels like this, this, this opportunity is bringing in. Um, it definitely feels for some of you, this is about grabbing it, go for it now you know, make the right decision for you, you know, that kind of energy. Because what this opportunity is doing, Taurus, is bringing stability and it feels material stability, security, value um, back into your life. You know, this Four of Pentacles is a card of security, protection as well. So it definitely feels for some of you, you know, with this Three of, of Cups, there could be reasons to celebrate here. This is a celebratory energy, um, friends, family, you know, that kind of energy. People who have given you emotional support, you know, that it's, it's a lovely card of, of, of co-support. Um, people who are ensuring those three cups that were once empty. You see here where you looked back in the past, you can see the three cups built on the floor there. You know, that they're full again. So it definitely feels for some of you that something is filling those cups again. Something is uplifting. 
something is bringing a shift. It feels to do with what this Knight of Wands is bringing to you. Now, this can be something that's aligned with your passions, your desires. Um, it feels slightly more money, career, finances, I have to say. But it is something that ignites your passions, your desires. Maybe something that you've been working hard towards and it was difficult to manifest the new. The new just didn't seem to be appearing. It definitely feels, Spirit is saying, that there is some shift coming to you. It might well be there's a, there's a decision atta attached to this opportunity, but it feels very much to do with potential growth, success, excitement, change coming, uh, reasons to celebrate. And then we have the death card. Something will end this month and it will allow you to metamorphosize, move from that chrysalis to the butterfly, shed an old skin. Out with the old, in with the new. There's a the big message of make space for the new. Especially with these energies, you will be able to make space for the new. Because this is somebody holding on to the burdens of the past, almost, as well. And again, we have the person looking back at the past too. So it feels for some of you that it's time to take action. It's time to go for what you want. Maybe make clear life choices, decisions. Could be to do with some kind of opportunity that this Knight of Wands is bringing you in, bringing into you. Um, because it definitely feels that in this situation, it's bringing you back stability and security and protection, material protection in your life. Um, celebration with friends, family as well. And out with the old, in with the new. So again... As the sun rises in the distance, uh, highlighting a new day, you know, a new dawn, it feels for some of you, this is a time to finally draw a line under what's gone and rise again in your own light. It feels like the Phoenix rising energy. This is the Phoenix rising energy. Um, by letting go of the trappings of the old. So definitely out with the old, in with the new this month, Taurus. But it feels like some kind of exciting opportunity is going to bring change in your circumstances as well. Remember, the ones are about action, growth, potential, passion, desire, um, success as well. So it feels very beautiful indeed. Let's pull a final card. Yeah. You see, and that's what they're telling you. Hello from heaven. You're being watched over, even though you don't know it. Because we have, we're helping to bring a little look your way. You deserve it. Yeah. I love the energy. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Taurus. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you and I will see you next time. Thank you.